Gotta make sure I got all my vents open. Okay. All right. Uh, Are ready? Open. Yep. All righty. All right, we're going to take a nice little ride. It's about, I don't know, 30, 35 minutes. So the next person we're going to get is Jason? Uh, yeah, we're going to go. Yeah, Jason is going to meet us over uh, in West Memphis. All right. You got a biker name, Ryan, or you go by Ryan? He called, that calls me Angry Bird. Angry Bird? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you only imagine why? Golden Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Chris out on the gold wing. Out on the gold wing. And today, riding all the way from Virginia, the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend. You've seen him in my videos. Seen him ride with us. Coast to coast, the one, the only, Stephen. What's up? What's, What's up, up, Stephen? And Stephen What's has his son riding two up, Ryan. Hello, Ryan. Hi. Hey, Ryan. How you doing? Good. Stephen has rode all the way down from Virginia. Now, how many miles did you ride to get here, Stephen? Uh, as of right now, 756 miles. 756 miles. Yes, wow. sir. Just to get to the ride. Just to get to here. Just to get to the ride. <laughs> right now, we're headed over to uh, West Memphis. We're going to be meeting up with some fellow Caliente riders. And uh, we're going to be taking a ride north, heading out toward Missouri. A good morning. It's about 72 degrees out. The high today is supposed to be around 80 degrees. And it's an honor and a pleasure to have Caliente rider Stephen come all the way down from Virginia with his uh -huh. son in tow, riding two up. Ryan, they done put in over 700, what did you say, about 750 miles? 756. 756 miles. Man, that's a blessing. I'm glad you guys made it safely. And it is oh, yeah. an honor and a blessing, man, to have you guys to come down. And Ryan has put in over 700 miles riding two up. So, Ryan, you pretty much got more miles than some of the bikers I actually know. <laughs> how, how, how old are you, Ryan? Eight years old. You're eight years old? Yeah. Ryan is eight years old, and he already got... Over 700 miles logged on the gold wing. Man, that's that's more than I can say for a lot of bikers I know there, Stephen. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, I noticed you got, uh, I want to congratulate you on your trailer purchase. Thank you. And it looks actually uh, pretty good. What brand What brand trailer is that? Uh, you know, to be truthfully honest with you, I couldn't tell you. You don't know? Um, it, it's a Canadian-made trailer. Okay. Okay. It's a it's a very unique-looking trailer. I like the way it looks. Uh, I actually checked it out when we was back there at the hotel, man, and I think it's a, that's an awesome-looking trailer. Uh, carpeted on the inside. I think once you get that trailer painted, man, that's going to be amazing. Yeah, man. Thank yes, you. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You'll be surprised what a fresh coat of paint will do. Oh yeah, it changed uh, the whole I, look. Yeah, I, I love the way it looks. It 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 pull it pulls good. Uh, it's low cut. It's aerodynamic. I like the wing on the back. It's deep. It's carpeted. It's well lit. It looks like it handles good. I see you got the uh, spark tire mounted underneath. And yep. uh, that's a fine looking trailer. Appreciate it. So if you ever decide you want to get rid of it. Call me first. <laughs> <laughs> I will do it. <laughs> give me a, 
give me a call first. No, all right. Uh, I'm gonna put my DMZ in first. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a real nice looking trailer, man. Thank you. Yeah, looking real good. You know, yeah, Mark, man. You know, Mark, who's in our group, he has the same goal when you have, which is the uh, the 2012 two tone. Yep. I love those uh, 2012 and 2013 models, the two tone models. Yeah. I, I love I love that two tone. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I love that two tone, but that's a beautiful. That, go, that, that goes a, a long way with me. Yeah, that's a good looking trailer, man, and I. I kid you not. Look like it's handling pretty good too. Yeah, I can't even feel it. You know. Yeah. Time to time, I forget it's back there. <laughs> now, this, now this is your first uh, long distance trip that you've taken taken with the trailer since you bought it. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's all right. First long distance trip with the trailer. Yep. Uh, before I came down, I probably had five miles on the trailer. Okay. Well, it's an honor and a blessing, man. It looks good, man. I promise you. It's a unique-looking trailer. Like you said, Canadian-made, but it's awesome. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I think it's a nice-looking trailer. I appreciate if, it. If anybody out there is watching this video, I'm coming back over in front of you there. All if right, anybody, come on. watch this car coming up on my on my far right. I see him. Because I see he's going to try to change lane. He is. He's going he gonna to have to hold, though. Got to watch these Memphis drivers. We out here cruising. Out here in Memphis. You got to keep your head on a swivel, man. For distracted drivers, drunk drivers, people on medicine, and people not paying attention. We're going to cruise on over to West Memphis, meet up with some more Caliente riders. I'm pulling the Can Am 622. Um, I've had the opportunity to take a long distance ride to Texas. It pulled really good. I love the independent suspension. It handles really well. I think it's an awesome trailer, and I'm enjoying it. Going around, probably take you on around the north side. Okay. As a matter of fact. We'll just take the south side. We'll just take the south side. We out here on 385, coming up on 240. Take the south end there, Stephen. All right. Now, this is your second time actually coming out to Memphis, is that correct? Yes, it is. Yeah, because I know you rode with us. You you actually rode down with Philip uh, in Yvette for our Knoxville getaway. Yep. Yeah, and... uh on that particular ride, Philip and Yvette rode over a thousand miles to get here. I know you put in over seven hundred and some miles to get here on that particular trip. And uh came back down today. We're gonna ride on up uh to Missouri, try to get some vittles. And uh you came down over seven hundred miles to get here. Yep. Uh and it was just uh me and my son. Yeah. That's amazing, man. So eight years old, right? Eight years old. Eight years old, and I already put in over 750 miles on the way down. We're going to take this left lane. Okay. So how does this uh, 622 trailer look from where you're sitting there, Stephen? It looks awesome. It's about to blind me. <laughs> well, I actually I washed it, and I put a fresh coat of wax on it, some liquid. Sunshine in a bottle, some of my experimental homemade wax. Man, it's shining like a diamond. Yes, it is. If anybody's watching this video and you need your trailer painted, you need your trailer painted, I want to recommend my personal painter that I use to paint my trailers, Horizon Trike. I'll put their address and their telephone number down in the description below. They're out there. And Clark's, I think it's Clarksville, Arkansas. Clarksville, Arkansas. But I'll put the information down in the description. Stay on over there, Ryan. I mean, uh, Stephen. Okay. If any of you guys out there are looking for a good painter, 
I don't care if you live up north. You may even live down south. You may live on the west coast or, or the east coast. I have a painter. His name is Chris out there at the Rising Trikes, a.k.a. Miser Auto Body and Painting. And Chris does all of my trailer paintings. And he does wonderful work. He does wonderful work. Uh, his prices are reasonable. Uh, give him a call if you want to get your trailer painted and tell him Caliente sent you. Tell him you need a Caliente special. <laughs> tell him you need to hook up on a paint job for your pull behind trailer. So it doesn't matter if you're pulling a Harley, Gold Wing, a Victory. Suzuki, BMW, Rolls Carnale, where you roll down one hill and Carnale make it up the next. If you need your trailer painted, give Chris over at Miser Auto Body, a.k.a. Horizon Trikes. Give them a call and tell them you need the Caliente Special. And I'll put his address and telephone number down in the description below. If any of you like to get your trailer painted. Weather's perfect. 74 degrees out. Got debris in the road. And we're cruising. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Uh -huh. man, you got to keep your head on a swivel, man, because, man, you still have to see a mattress laying out here in the road. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's all good in the hood. And that's understood. I was hoping Mark uh, would ride out with us today. I wanted you to see his 2012 Gold Wing. It looks just like yours, Stephen. Okay. Yeah. Looks just I've like seen yours. him on the videos. Uh, I haven't had the pleasure to meet him in person yet, but I've seen his bike a few times on videos. I've seen his trailer. So I got a pretty good idea of, you know, what he's working with. Oh, okay. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah, look. I oh, that's an airplane, yeah. You see that airplane, Ryan? Yeah, it's a set Coming airplane. in. Yeah, he's fixing the land. He might oh. have something on that for me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. My, my, my Fed S tracking may be on that plane right there. Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. You know, we keep Amazon running. Same here. Yes, sir. You come on over there. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just checking out the trailer, man. Uh, you know, and one thing about me, uh, Stephen, you know, my mind, my thoughts are trailers are all the same. They're going to pull. Some of them may pull a little bit better than others. Some may pull a little bit different. But the, but the objective is to be able to carry your things, your extra gear, your helmet, boots, rain gear, maybe a chair, a table. Whatever you may want to carry with you, that's the whole point of carrying a trailer. I have a lot of people always ask me, why do you pull a trailer everywhere you go? Yeah. I think it's, it's convenience. It's for convenience. It is. So I just want people to know that it doesn't matter what type of trailer you're pulling. Some guys may want to pull a Bush Tech. Watch this car coming up. All right. Some guys may want to pull an Air Ride trailer. A escapade trailer, open road, outfitter, timeout trailer, can am trailer. At the end of the day it's all about being able to pull your things when you go out riding and to take it with you to make your ride experience more enjoyable. I just think it just makes it it makes you more versatile as a biker to have a trailer. Oh, yeah, especially yeah. with this uh, COVID going on. You know, half of the restaurants won't let you eat inside. So if you got a chair and a table, then you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you may get into a situation where, a uh, case in point, you know, I was riding with Brother Cowboy when I was out in Texas. Not this, this last time, but it was uh, earlier this year. And he had a, uh, he was having some alternator issues. And we actually pulled over to the side of the road because his alternator stopped charging, and uh, he lost power to his bike. You know, you, yeah. the, the bike is only going to run on the battery for so long if the alternator oh. if the alternator oh. dies. Oh, yeah. And uh, so his alternator basically went out, 
and his alternator went out. We basically, he was basically stranded, you, you know, stuck on the side of the road. So um, in my trailer, I had extra chairs. I had my table. I had uh, things that we would need to make uh, waiting convenient. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was bad enough that we was, you know, stuck out on the road. But once I pulled the chairs out, once I pulled the lights out, once I pulled the table out, we was all able to sit there and just kind of enjoy each other's company until the record driver showed up. So it's very convenient to have a trailer with you because you can always take some of your things with you. And I've, I've heard, even heard some bikers say, well, you know, I'm, I'm too young to pull a trailer. I don't want to do that yet. And, you know, to each his own. Wow. You know, don't knock it until you try it. Don't knock it until you try it. It doesn't yeah. matter what type of trailer you're pulling. It can be a, a Hannigan trailer. You know, it doesn't matter. The point is you want to be able to carry your things with you and make your ride experience more enjoyable. And when you pull a trailer, it just it, it makes it easier to do. We're cruising out here on 240. Heading toward 55. We're on exit 55 North. We're we'll taking the St. Louis exit. Just stay in this lane. We got about five miles. We got about five miles, and we're going to be preparing to cross over into the great state of Arkansas, Arkansas. Okay. Arkansas. So you're going to be hitting uh, three states today, there, Stephen. You're going to be hitting Tennessee. You're going to be hitting Arkansas. And you're going to be hitting Missouri. Okay. And if you guys are really feeling good, we can go, we can run on over to Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. Yeah. I mean, all this is right together. That's the thing about, you know, this particular area. You can come on over the left lane if you want because this person. All right. Yeah, he, I think he's, he, he's just checking out the bike. That's all he's doing. Yeah, he, he, he sights in. Signaling right and looking left. <laughs> Back over to the middle lane. Coming on over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the south end of Memphis. The south end. South end of Memphis. I ain't yes, never sir. been over this way before. Never been over this way. Nope. What is that over there, that big old thing that's throwing clouds up in the air? I don't that is, know. That is called the refinery. That is called, used to be called Mapco Refinery. They changed the name to Williams Refinery. And uh, now, I think the, I forgot the name of it now. <laughs> I apologize. But, yeah, that's the, I just call it Mapco because I know it's just the old Mapco. I'm I can't remember what it was before Mapco. You know, it seemed like every so many years they'll sell it and uh, somebody else will put, it, put their name on it. But that is the only refinery in the state of Tennessee. Okay. Yeah, that's the only oil refinery in the state of Tennessee. Wow. Yes, sir. Valero. That's the name of it. Valero. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Valero. It used to be Mapco. They changed it to Williams, then they changed it to Valero. It seemed like it was something else before Mapco, but I, I just can't remember because it changes hands, you know, often. Yep, the only state. And that's why here in, uh, in this area, that's why our gasoline is low because the refinery is just right there. Yeah. Where you it, may get in some places where they actually have to bring the gasoline in on trucks uh, from a long distance. You know, you got to put it on trucks anyway to take it to the gas stations. But, you know, we're at an advantage because the we're at an advantage because the refinery is just right here in Memphis. Yeah, you just right around the corner. Just right around the corner. Yes, sir. That's all it is. It's all good in the hood. It's all good in the hood. I'm gonna come on around you there. Uh, well, I was gonna come on around this truck. Now, let me get in front of you. Let me get. All in right, front come of you. on. Sir, out here on 55 northbound with the Can-Am 622. 
Looking good, looking, looking good. good. Looking good, looking good. I was going to take you down Riverside Drive. We could dog leg back through. Yeah. But no sense of doing that. Um, I can always bring you back uh, on our way back if you want to. Yeah, that's fine. We, if we come back through downtown, unless we decide to take the route to bring us out into Kentucky. All right. We're going to be making this right lane. This right hand turn. I wonder if the old CB shop open today. I don't know. It might be. Get his old CB a test. Put this old CB, this old CB through the test. Yeah, put this old CB through the test as we enter the great state of Arkansas. Look at this wow. bridge, Ryan. Wow. Yeah, we call this the old bridge. Yeah. Old bridge. That's what we call it. You know, we just call okay. it the old bridge because this one was here before the other one. We are in Arkansas, Ryan. Yes, sir. Wow. You done already crossed into another state. <laughs> now, Ryan, a ride now. Don't don't let him fool you. He'll ride. I could have took. I could have taken you to Mississippi, which is only thirty minutes south. Okay. Yeah. Then you'd actually hit five states in one day. <laughs> <laughs> I see a pyramid. Oh yeah, I did see a pyramid. Let's see if we can reach that old. Oh yeah, I was going to take you guys down there, but we'll, we'll hit it on the way back. Okay. See if we can reach this old CB shop. Break China 5, break China 5. How about it, CB Shop? How about it, China 5, CB Shop? You got your ears on? How about that China 5, CB Shop? China 5, CB Shop. They might be closed today. Might be. Yeah, they might be closed today. Let's see if we can reach that old truck wash. See if we can get this old truck wash today. How about a truck wash? How about a truck wash? Channel 2-3, truck wash. <coughs> How about a Channel 2-3, truck wash? Right there. Well, I, I guess it's old radio putting out. Break one nine for a radio check. Break one nine for a radio check. Hey, it's working, driver. How does radio sound on your end? Sounding good. I appreciate the break. Well, he said it's working there. Yep. Yeah, that old Channel 5 CB shop must be closed today. Now, Stephen, you said the temperature was in the the, the 40s when you uh, left out of Virginia? Yes, yes. It was really, really cold. Really cold? Yes. Right now we're showing 73 degrees. What do you think about that? That's lovely. Yes, sir. That's yeah, I was going to wear my heated gear, but since my son doesn't have it, if he's going to be cold, I'm going to be cold. Yeah. That's one way to look at it. Yeah. Say if, 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 he, if he's got to be cold, if he's going to suffer, you're going to suffer too. Yep. All right. We in it together. We in it together. Got to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get cold, Ryan? Oh, yeah. That's Did why you? he had to buy me a new jacket. I got so cold. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ten hours. That hurts. My 
My leg is hurting. I think I'm gonna stop over here at this McDonald's. I don't, wanna ride. I, don't, I don't think I want to ride back home. Oh, <laughs> uh, you be all right. That's a little. That's a little too much for a day. Get you prepared for that iron butt. Mm, get it, iron butt. You guys did an iron butt ride down. Pretty much. Just three hundred more miles. Pretty sure, like three hundred. Yeah. Had it. Like two fifty. Yeah, but I don't think he signed up. Nah, I need to. Yeah. Need to get me up. I think I see Jason over there. Yeah, Jason's there. They, yeah, we're meeting him at the gas station over to the left over there. Okay. Um. They say about the. Y'all get anything? Y'all good? You want anything? Uh. I'm good. I think I can hold off to Lambert. All uh, right. We good, Chris. I mean, okay. you can go in. Well, I'll go to the drive too. Okay. Now, if y'all want me to, I can grab you something, too, now, if you just need me to. No, no, I'm good. Okay. Thank you, though. All right. Guess this lane over here open. I'm going to open up my windshield. Yeah. Well, uh, Jason got a K&M, too? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You see him? Can you see him? Yeah, Yeah, I see him. Oh, okay. I see Godspeed over there, too. Oh, yeah, Godspeed over there, too. Yeah. I'm going to ride on I'm gonna ride on over myself, okay. Chris. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, man. I'm I'll gonna... catch you back. Okay. Godspeed kind of don't look that big. Uh, it's humongous. They don't look that big. 